Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X Research and Professional Physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled Planet X Reaches the Sun. Now, on November 25, 2018, another sun diving comet reached the sun. A lot of people know about Planet X and are expecting it to arrive. Some know it by the name Nibiru and others by the name Herculubus. What most people do not know, though, is that this comet was Planet X arriving. This is because Planet X was the object that was supposed to arrive one day and create cataclysms on Earth. And that is exactly what comets are. They are the bringers of cataclysms, not only to the Earth, but to the whole solar system. And here you see the comet moving towards the Sun. It's getting closer there on the 25th. And here it seems to have reached the Sun, and here we see the tail dissipating. So the object does not emerge on the other side of the Sun, so it's usually concluded that it was destroyed by the Sun. However, that is far from the truth. They are not destroyed. Instead, they have destroyed the Sun. And you may look at Article 435 entitled Planet X Debris Filling the Solar System. Sun is now a dark star. The white spots are not, you can see white spots everywhere, are not background stars, but debris in the Sun's corona. And actually what is left after the image is manipulated in order to hide nearly all the debris that was present in the sun's corona when, uh, when this image was taken. And light, as you can see, is being emitted from the edge. There's light from the edge. And that indicates that there's light emitting matter there. Or it may be that they just didn't manage to clean up uh, the image is right up to the edge. But either way, it means that there's matter in the sun's inner and outer corona that is emitting light. And you can see that these spots are not stars because within a few hours they just disappear. If they had been stars, they would still be there. And you can see that there were these two here that were almost in alignment with this planet. It, these seem to stay there. But if we look at how their motion evolves, you can see uh, if I draw a line through them and see how close they are to the planet there, they seem to be a bit further away from the planet here. Um, closer to the sun, definitely, but um, they're getting to the sun faster than the planet. Now, there's no way that stars can move faster than a planet. If they are background stars, they're in the background. They're not supposed to move any faster than a planet. Um, I mean, the, the spacecraft is moving, so motion could be due to the spacecraft, but then the planet would definitely move faster than the background stars because the planet's much closer. So that shows that these are not background stars. These are all debris in the suns, um, in the inner solar system at least, most likely in the inner and outer corona. And you can see this is one of these objects. This is a Planet X object. I also call them stellar cores. But they are comets because they arrive at the sun and are observed arriving as comets. And you can see this object is very large. It has a huge amount of debris surrounding it. This is its debris field. And there's just so much there. And these pieces are very large. This object turned out to be larger than the sun. And you may look at Article 425 for more details about how I estimated its size. But you can see the huge amount of debris that is surrounding this object. And this is just one. Over thousands of years, uh, many, many of these objects with their own debris fields have arrived at the sun. They were observed arriving as comets. And this image is from June 25, 1986. It's a Soho Lasko C1 image. And you can see the huge amount of material in the sun's corona here. This is not a coronal plasma. Coronal pa plasma is gaseous. It's not in the form of discrete objects. 
inside the corona. So this is not coronal plasma, this is actually debris and possibly small stellar cores. I don't actually see any that I would say are very large here, but either small stellar cores, those will be spherical, or it will be the debris that these objects bring and leave behind if they do move on. And I'm sure they will leave a lot of that debris behind in the sun's corona. So as you can see, it's huge amounts. And this is seen through a defocused and misaligned telescope, purposely done in an attempt to hide what was really there. And the way you know that it was defocused and misaligned is because most of the spots of light, not all, are seen as light rings with a dark circle in the center. And this is what happens when you look at a bright object through a defocused and misaligned telescope. A little spot like that becomes a, a ring like this. It's, um, and some of them will still have, will have rings. The rings are a diffraction effect. But uh, when you, you uh, introduce more errors, then you end up with these distorted rings and dark centers. Now the SOHO spacecraft, aboard which the Lasko C-1 instrument was supposed to be mounted, was not launched until 1995, when the image is from 1986. And this indicates that these images have been allowed to retain the original timestamps in order to disclose that current images have had the timestamps changed. And you may look at Article 446 entitled, When Did They Find Out That the Sun Was Dying? Now, comets have been coming in for thousands of years, and people used to understand that they were destructive and dangerous. And this is illustrated by this painting. And you can see there are two comets in the sky, and there is a lot of stuff coming in through the atmosphere which uh, the painter obviously knew about. You see, these people don't look healthy. They look uh, very ill, perhaps even mentally ill. And you can see the, the towers are broken, the trees are fallen over, and um, there is a lot of destruction everywhere. So um, this suggests that people knew that comets brought cataclysms to the Earth. Now comets are often huge, sometimes larger than the sun. They have huge debris fields around and around themselves, and they leave their debris fields around the sun. The sun does not destroy them. They and their debris often stay with the sun, absorbing energy from it. This is because comets are part of dead star systems, making up one huge system, which I have named Planet X system of stellar cores. Dead stars are low in gravitational photon energy, which makes them have a low gravitational influence and does seem to have very little mass, but the energy depleted state of the matter makes them strong absorbers of energy, and it is this which makes them destructive. They will continue to draw energy from all the objects in a star system until all objects in that star system has been completely depleted and has thus become a dead object as well. In other words, they turn all living star systems into dead star systems. They destroy and assimilate living star systems and they are in the process of doing that to ours. The process takes many thousands of years, but they have been here for thousands of years already. And this is what happens to a living celestial object when it turns into a stellar core. Uh, the core uh, ends up with no energy, that's why I drew it as a black sphere here. And all these layers of material are lost, the atmosphere is lost, but the object will lose its planets first. As it loses, en as its energy drops, then it loses gravitational influence over its own matter. First its planets, then its own matter. And so that matter ends up as a debris field around the core. 
We have been told that comets are dirty snowballs because the powers that be do not want the world's population to find out what is really going on. This is one of the largest cover-ups in the history of the world. Deception and lies have been used on a large scale to hide the truth from the common people of this planet. Whilst the elite prepare to live in underground cities indefinitely, as it will soon be impossible to survive on the surface. And here you see an image of Jupiter in ultraviolet light after the impacts by the Schumacher-Levy 9 comet. And it shows large blemishes that were left on Jupiter's atmosphere. And Jupiter is huge, nearly 11 times larger than the Earth. So no dirty snowballs could have left such as a long-lasting effect on Jupiter. And these lasted for a very long time. And Dr. Schumacher, one of the people who discovered the comet, knew that. He knew when he saw this what it meant. He, he was a planetary scientist. And so they killed him. He was not the first or the last scientist to have been targeted because of, uh, of the fact uh, that they were on the right track. James McKenney, who wrote the book Planet X, Comets and Earth Changes, and wrote about the electrical effects around comets and showed that they were definitely not made of ice, was fired from his university position, and I was pushed out of my academic position at the University of the Witwatersrand. In addition, Planet X and the Bureau stories, which have circulated over the years, suggest that one object will arrive, cause a cataclysm which is survivable, leave, and life will go on. This is not true. Planet X objects or comets will keep coming and will remain until either the creator of the universe intervenes or there is nothing left of the solar system. And here you see the different pieces that comet Schumacher-Levy 9 broke into. Stellar cores seem to remain intact, but the debris that accompanies them breaks into ever smaller pieces, ending up as fine dust. But all the debris absorbs energy and thus becomes surrounded in an atmosphere captured from solar system objects. And they seem to drag material from the solar system behind them. This material emits light due to the energy absorption process. The Schumacher-Levy pieces are thus what have been filling the, solace, uh, the sun's corona for thousands of years. In conclusion, comets are not small or benign. They are destroyers. Comets are planet X, and they are slowly destroying the solar system and the Earth. Those are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.